Hi guys and welcome to Zion Deep. My name is Dennis Meriti. I am excited to be here today to share with you. Um, and I hope you are still watching our content, you're subscribing and you're following us. Um, I would like us to just pray as we introduce our topic today in Jesus' name. Father Lord, we thank you, we honor you, we bless your name. Lord, we thank you even for uh, today. Thank you for a chance, O oh Lord, to speak to your people. And Father, I pray that you will use me as a mouthpiece in Yeshua's name. I pray, Father, that um, you will help us, O oh Lord, even to understand your word in a deeper way. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Um, so through this, I would like us to talk about the iniquities of a nation. And in this regard, we are looking at the iniquities of the land uh, Kenya. And I don't want to separate um, Kenya from Africa because I feel we were separated for a reason. Africa was separated for a reason. And I feel that Africa was one because if you look at the, even the system of leadership before the colonialists uh, came, all uh, in uh, all across Africa, it was the same. So Africa was really one. We were really all connected. Um, the different gods that were worshipped in Africa uh, also culminated to one god. Africa used to name God according to their actions or according to um, the deed. Uh, if, for example. Uh, he has healed, he is called a God who heals. If he has redeemed, he was called a God who redeems. So the different names in the different tribes and the different, um, uh, the different groups of people, uh, it was still going to one God, but there is what one community felt that God has done this for us. So there was an introduction of um, other uh, I mean, there was an introduction of other forms of worship which were highly accepted because, of course, Africa was introduced to religion. So we were a connected community. We were not far apart from each other. And there are things that happened uh, in Africa, or rather, um, I mean, in Africa and those days, there are so many things that happened that are affecting us to date. And that's why. Uh, I, would want, I would want us to talk about the iniquities of the land. And I want us to read the scripture in the book of um, Exodus chapter 34 verse 7 that says, Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and trans transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilt, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children, upon uh, unto the third and the fourth generation. So, uh, first of all, if we start by um, defining what is iniquity. Iniquities are the unacceptable things, the sins that are, are committed. If, for example, I commit an acceptable sin in my generation, it is referred to as iniquity. And if um, I have children and the children of uh, the children of my children, those things that I did will revisit the children. And that is what happens. You see, if you look at the story of creation, what we are dealing with to date is iniquity. It is the iniquity of our father, Adam, uh, and our, and our uh, first mom, Eve. We are dealing with iniquity. And you can see iniquity running all over. Even when you read the scriptures, you can see iniquities everywhere. So even when uh, we are talking about our continent, Africa, we have things that, we, uh, that were done that we are dealing with them to date. And the tragedy is that people are silent about it and no one is willing to speak about it, you know? No one is willing to speak about cleansing of the land. No one is willing to uh, speak about uh, dealing with the iniquities. As, uh, the, the same way we have iniquities of fathers connected to families, there are iniquities uh, of fathers connected to the nation. Because the nation stands as one, 
when you are talking of uh, persons, the nation stands as one. There is a nation of Kenya, there is a nation of Uganda, there is a nation of uh, 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 United States of America. I mean, this, the nation, the, the foundations any nation makes, it depends, it, it, um, it projects of uh, for, uh, the future of that nation. So that's why you see every nation deals with uh, different challenges. We do, not, we do not all have same challenges. We have different challenges because the fathers of the land sinned differently. The same way, each family, many families have different challenges because the fathers sinned differently. And the tragedy is, uh, about iniquities, is <coughs> the enemy knows about our past. He doesn't know about our future. And he keeps visiting our past. So he, when he visits our past as Kenyans, for example, he looks at what was done, and then he brings it to the uh, third and fourth generation, depending on which generation sinned. And it, it becomes a tragedy when we just close our eyes and we do not want to deal with the real issues because we want to, to just imagine that these things for, um, somehow are sorted out. Uh, I mean, we, 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 are, we, we are blind to some processes that we have to do, but we forget that God is just. And if there is something that was done, you have to deal with it. For it to be cleared in the spiritual realm, you have to deal with it. The same way you have to deal with a, with a case in a court of law and a ruling is made. The same way you have to deal with iniquities. And you see, when God created Adam and Eve, in the mind of God, man was one. He did not create man to, uh, to be divided. Man was one. So the sin of our father becomes, the sin of your father becomes your sin, you know? And unless you go to the basis of what was done, you'll, you'll suffer the consequences. I know this is something many people do not like hearing because we have a generation uh, that, all, that want to hear good news. But today I'm not coming with good news. I am coming with um, a plea that we should go back and check what happened. What did the fathers do uh, in the nation of Kenya? What did the fathers do in Africa? Where did we go wrong? Because what we are facing now is not, is not actually uh, the sins of the current generation. We are dealing with a totally different thing. We are not dealing with what this generation has done because this generation has not qualified to have things that we are dealing with. And uh, with that, we are going to repack and uh, unpack and see where we went wrong and see how we can go about it because I believe with the leading of God, God has a solution because there is nothing that happens behind God's back. He knows the past and even as we approach him, he will teach us more on how to uh, approach these things. And with that, God bless you so much. Uh, let's pray. Father, thank you. And even as you continue teaching us about these things, we pray, Father, for guidance. We pray, we pray Lord, that um, you teach us on the areas to touch in Yeshua's name. Amen. God bless you.